Hey guys, welcome back to ShiftyCraft. We're going to be discussing the best beginner seeds to start a Minecraft world in. This first one is great. The seed number is 215-190-155-396835-2745. The version is 1.7.3 and the coordinates are x61.48, y75, z, negative 68.73. Now, the Minecraft title screen picture has been hiding for years, and Redditors have announced that they've discovered the Minecraft title screen seed. There's been confirmation of the position of the title screen, and you can witness the historic moment in this seed, along with these precise coordinates and seed, among which you can see the newly unblurred original Minecraft panorama. Hillside Village The seed number is 749-214-0738558. 1.17 is the needed version. Now this spawn may be seen in a video posted on YouTube by YouTuber Masbro, which shows multiple communities in the local neighborhood, including a hillside settlement that leads to a summit plateau. Along the seaside, there are several prospects for stunning construction projects. Cluster of Biome, negative 226-829-018-3238. Three five three five four seven six seven is the seed number and 1.17 is the version. A rainforest biome is the starting point for this seed. You'll be right next to mushroom fields flanked by a desert which will eventually convert into some breathtaking badlands. Aside from that, there's a frozen ocean biome included in the mix as well, where we discovered a lone polar bear taking in his vibrant surroundings. YouTuber Avomance discovered this seed and shared it with the world. Slime Farm 7,000 is the seed and 1.16 is the version. If you use this helpful Minecraft seed, you'll be placed right on the border of a swamp biome, which means that all you have to do is farm slimes, wait for nightfall, or build a Minecraft slime farm yourself. There's also a neighboring town where you can start growing crops, along with a few wolves strewn around, as well as a tiny subterranean cave where you can find an enderman, which, both of which are within easy reach. Obsidian Farm 8880302588844065321 is the seed number. Version is 1.9. It's a precious resource that is normally obtained at the end of a quest, although it may also be produced when water flows under the lava. Now, with a couple of vast towns, this seed offers something for everyone. There's an agricultural village with a crop farm in it, an adventure themed village with a minecraft nether portal in it, and a waterlogged village with a convenient pool of lava that's excellent for obsidian farming. Icy Spire 2223210 is the seed number, version 1.11. Now upon arrival you'll notice a large ice spire in the distance which will be surrounded by icy trees and ice caps. Just to the right of the entrance lies a little settlement blanketed in snow along with a half-completed nether portal and a plethora of small lava ponds with the creation of obsidian, a tranquil place to call home with bunnies, wolves, and the occasional polar bear thrown in for good measure. Seed for a woodland mansion. The seed is throw low in the versions 1.1.4. Woodland mansions are famously tough to locate in Minecraft, but this seed handles all the legwork for you. It spawns barely 100 blocks away from one of the most difficult to locate structures. Construction of a Minecraft home, collection of resources, and preparation for a raid on an opulent estate in or short order are all recommended. Frozen Island Seed Negative 7865816549737130316 is the seed number. 1.1.4 is the needed version. Minecraft creatures like polar bears, massive glacier structures, and the occasional igloo combine to provide the perfect winter wonderland spawning place for your Minecraft world. The freezing terrain into which you spawn is rather large, but there's a land mass nearby where you can grab their critical materials before returning to the ice sheets themselves. Perhaps the most appealing aspect is that you'll spawn on a survival island surrounded by ice, allowing you to mine down to the bottom for valuable minerals and resources. What do you guys think of these seeds? Which one is the best? Let us know in the comment section. But that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe button, as well as turning post notifications on so you never miss out on a future video from us. And until we see you guys next time, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. Bye, guys.